Well, look, the firing obviously was warranted, um, but I'm a little bit surprised because John Gruden, I think they may have come to a deal or, or settlement with Gruden, but Gruden had six years left on his deal when he was fired two years ago. So you can do the math. He's still essentially being paid not to coach. Now Josh McDaniels with four years left on his deal. You're paying him not to coach. So I thought that Mark Davis might be cheap and keep him, but this is the right move. I, I've been saying this for – I actually think you could have argued he could have been fired after last year. Now I know that's just one season and maybe that's not fair, but last year he took a team last year that was 10-7 and seven and had made the playoffs and wow. added Devontae Adams – added Chandler Jones, and then went 6-11. and 11. All right, and, and obviously they had some big leads. They lost so, so many of those games yeah. with the big leads. So I think that combined with the team morale, team morale is clearly low with Josh McDaniel. So I, I think it's warranted. I think it's the best move he could have made. But I'm a bit surprised just because – of the money situation. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Get him out of there. Yikes. That's right. Yeah, yeah that's get him out of there, man. Yes. Look, I Devontae mean, Adams, uh, Josh Jacobs, they're probably, even though they're losing, having a losing record right now in season, they're smiling walking in the yep. building today because at least there's something different. There's something different to look forward to. When you are on a losing team, and I've experienced this down in Miami when we were losing. Joe Philbin, he, we weren't getting it done offensively, defensively. It just wasn't happening. Dan Campbell comes in. And it gives us something to, like, come together about. Like, that's all you want when you are a team that is struggling and low morale. This started, in my opinion, forget the wins and losses even last year. When you tell your quarterback that he can't even be a part of the last two weeks – like a this guy is that's respected too. Yeah. Absolutely, you start to lose yeah. the respect of the guys in the locker room yeah. right then and there. Yeah. yeah. Well, listen, it, 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 there's no need to parse words here, and I'm glad you guys didn't. He's one of the worst head coaches ever. It's yeah. undeniable. This is now. This is, let's go over the resume. Zero winning seasons. His own little mini Spygate back in Denver that most people <laughs> yeah. forgot about. Right. Treated <laughs> people. Terribly yes. at, both, at both stops. Insulted his players, saying I can turn any high school quarterback into an all-pro in wanting to get rid of Jay Cutler when Jay Cutler mm-hmm. was coming off his best seasons. Uh, believed his own hype far too much. Re- reneged on a job. Screwed yeah, the Colts sure. over and ended up doing Forgot them a favor. Yeah. And now, eh. two times, <laughs> two times hasn't made it to year through year two. And so what do they do from here? is to me pretty obvious. You salt the earth and you start over. I would recommend that they go after as soon as possible Eric Bieniemy, who just because he's no longer with the Chiefs, I think what the idea there was to prove himself outside of Kansas City, well, Sam Howell looking like a borderline NFL quarterback to me is proving himself, even though the guy gets sacked eight times a game. Mm -hmm. I would draft Shador Sanders. In with my top ten pick because they're not going to be able to draft Caleb or Drake May. They're not going to be mm. good enough for that. That will actually maybe get you some interest in Vegas, not just opposing fans. And I'd trade Devontae Adams. And I would admit that we cannot contend until 2026. Okay. We're going to have a rookie quarterback and clean up our cap next year. In 2025, we're going to try to establish some wins, round 500. And in 2026, we hope to be primed and ready to go for it with these terrible contracts that McDaniels traded for or signed off the books mm. moving forward. That should be the plan, and I'll see if they do it. They're the Raiders, so they probably won't. But that should be the plan, Wild. Yeah. What? It just felt like, it felt like a, I don't know. It feels like you guys are being too harsh on my guy, Josh McDaniel. Why is he your guy? Right. Well, because I liked him with the Patriots. But, he, but like that you know what he is, Wilds? What? He is proof. And I, I, I say this respectfully to him. He's proved that you can, he was a very good offensive coordinator. He's a good offensive obviously. coordinator. But every great coordinator does not make a great coach. Could, they, the, could they beat the Giants this weekend? Absolutely. With, jo- with Josh, with the, with, if, the, if no one got fired? He'd be four and five. They, yeah, they can beat the Giants. I you mean, fired a guy. You, you have a, the Giants. I just thought it was strange. So you don't think you deserve to be fired? What? I, I don't know. You're three and five. You can be. You're going to be four and five. You come on Monday morning. You'll be four and, and but five. But that's the thing. It's not even about the record right, right. now. It's you've lost when when you when one of your best players is being asked, "What can we do? What can you guys do to improve the offense?" And their response is, "I, I don't know. That's not my job." You. You clearly have lost right. the trust of every player okay. in that locker room. And you, listen, we're going to talk Jimmy G here. 
You torched Derek Carr I didn't in like service that. of Jimmy G, well, and was, now I Jimmy G is old. the first quarterback bench. Take thought, away Spy Gady's 14 and 33 as a head coach. What? That? Josh McDaniels. I'm yes. your guy. Yeah. Just saying. Go ahead. You're going to inherit bad teams, obviously. They but were 10 and 7. That, that was a fair 10 and 7. <laughs> they were, like Bill Barnwell wrote, they were outscored by yes, 75 Yes, no, that's, that's all true, but fun, this was, was not a, a well-coached team. It was no, a funny it was 10 and 7. They got into the I playoffs. They, I, when, I, some people you're gonna say like, if you go, make the playoffs, you're a Super Bowl. La, last thing, and then we'll get to Jimmy G. <laughs> you're going to fire the GM, the offensive coordinator, and the head coach, and now bench the quarterback. Yeah. Like, Fresh start. You think Devontae Adams is going to have a great no, game? No, they're going to have, they have to start they over. They trade. They, they messed they up by start start over. You're, you're starting over, but Devontae is coming in there like I told y'all. I wouldn't, I wouldn't and they're going to get a look no, at I, The morale for will be better. Months. Okay. I guess so. Dusty, the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Purdue's Aiden O'Connell in. Jimmy G headed to the bench. Here's Jimmy's numbers this year. I'm sorry, bro. 200 yards, 27th best passer rating. He had more interceptions than touchdowns and dead last in completions 20 yards down the field. And he was supposed to be throwing to Devontae Adams, who will catch it if you kind of put it <laughs> anywhere close to him. Nick, yeah. what happened? Uh, yeah, I don't care what happened. Greg, myself, <laughs> and the audience, we all want apologies. Absolutely. We apologies. tried to tell you for years that this guy stinks. And what oh. you said was, oh. listen, I'm not saying he's a Hall of Famer. Yeah. But the way like, that we're but, saying. But, he's, but this is what we heard. But he's definitely a good quarterback. I'm not saying he's a great quarterback. I'm not saying he's a Hall of Famer. He's a good quarterback. And, and Nick, you'll admit, it's just the injuries. It's mostly the injuries. He just, he's he just can't stay healthy. And we had to hear about things like George Kittle's T-shirts <laughs> being proof of how beloved he was, about his teammates loving him. We had to yeah, hear all they did. of this nonsense. And now, Bru, Bru, will you say it one more time? Just for, the, just for posterity's sake, the will, graphic? You, will you ask Dusty for the graphic? Oh, see, <laughs> y'all, y'all, what? What? who do what? y'all think what? y'all playing with? Because yeah. well, I have a graphic. The graphic. You know what, Dusty? Give me there it that, is. That, that, there that, that, give me the because, other graphic. Because Jimmy G <laughs> is gone from that one forever. <laughs> give me and the since other he'll graphic. Never start again. All right, give that's him seven guys. Give me graphic. my graphic. Give Dusty. him his Fugazi graphic. Look at that's not Fugazi. <laughs> yeah. The top ten winning but that's percentages not what it was. since the it was merger. Seventy percent, but he's still ten. Seventy. Tenth is pretty good. Tenth is pretty darn okay, good. So then, oh, is Terry Bradshaw? Wow. Bradshaw's not on well, it? Well, then let me ask a question. Oh, uh, Bro, who else is then on Then how do we explain it? Uh, here's how. You, it's baffling. It's not but baffling. I, I, it's exactly I have figured it out. Oh. Because you take a guy that's 10th and wins. Mm -hmm. All right? You take a guy that's been to the Super Bowl. Two NFC title games. Mm -hmm. You know what it was? What? Took too many hits. No. Oh, oh this guy. Took too many hits. I heard banged up. I mean, he's I 30. He takes a lot of hits. It's like Cam Newton. Cam's last good season was 29 years old. Jimmy G's 32. He's 31. Cam took. He's 31. He'll be 32. Tomorrow, well, so happy birthday, Jimmy G. Hold on. Happy birthday, Jimmy G. Tomorrow, he will be 32. Oh, let me finish. 31. Jimmy 32. G. Jimmy G. Started zero games. His body game. has betrayed him. No, okay. Now, no, hear me out. I listened to you no. rant and rave. We had to listen to you for five me. years. All right, here we go. Jimmy G's body's betrayed him just like Cam's did. Now, Cam took a lot of hits because he was running. Jimmy G's body's more fragile. Oh, we know outrageous. that his problem has been injuries because the two. Hold on. No, nah, listen. No, we're not These listening are to facts. This. These are facts. The two seasons in his entire career as a starter that he has been healthy, they went wild what, to the what NFC about this title season? game. What about this season? He missed two games this year. Did he He's not healthy. One? What, bro? He's, He's not, not healthy. Bro, now, he my point the is, the, uh, hold on. You want to give all the credit to Kyle Shanahan. Let's look at Kyle Shanahan's oh, record, Dusty. Oh, no, I'm going to do it. With that. Brock Purdy, 12 and 4. Kyle Shanahan's the man. Oh, With Jimmy G, yeah. 42 and 19. The man. Oh, With goodness. everybody else, the same thing. 9 right, and 29. Can so stop going on. You want to take all – now, I get it. I've never said not only that Jimmy G is not a Hall of Famer, I never said he should even be a Pro Bowl. Is he a good quarterback? Yes, okay. he was. Then what – Now and, he's and old. Now you're, he's, bro, he's not, not old. good. He's 31. No, but his body – His body 
How many times does the man have to get injured for you to understand his body can't do it anymore? I want to do something. I'm serious about that. I apologize. Because you're you're arguing. You want to take all this man's credit and give it to Kyle Shannon? No, 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 no. Who was one in ten when he got there? George and Debo and all these other guys as well. I'd like to show you a blind reveal before we move on. Don't do it. All right. So do we agree the quarterback on the right, Jimmy G, quarterback Absolutely. on the left, seems awesome? Oh, Jimmy G with it's the right. Gi- it's, it, yeah, it's, it's Jimmy G a whole six games ago, I guess, before he got old. How do you explain that, bro? How do you explain that? I explain that he got old. But in the, His body <laughs> in the last three months. Yeah, put it his, in. Put, it, what what do you happen, mean? How, yeah, let me think true, about man. Peyton Manning, who's obviously much better than Jimmy G. One year was fantastic. He was Come 40. Up, can I fit? Can I, can I, yeah, you should be able to finish. Comes back the next year and is horrific. Bro, Gets benched. Bro, he was 40. Peyton Manning. Your body, he was this not. Was 31. he as injury but prone as Jimmy different. G? Can we admit Jimmy G has been injury bro, prone his bro. entire Just career? You let you it go. I ain't let nothing go. I, I have won this. Take this L. No. Take this L. Bro, he got benched Take before this Baker L. Mayfield. He what? got benched. He was the first quarterback in the NFL well, bench. I can't this believe year. you. Right I'm now. not defending Jimmy G's place yes. this year. I'm saying it is unfair to take what this man has accomplished Which is and, what? and give it all to Kyle no, Shanahan. And the, and Hold the on, because on Kyle team. Shanahan and George Kittle and, and the fullback who's in a pro bowler were all there okay. when Jimmy G yes. got there and that team was one the in ten. Hold on, and the tight one in ten. Yes. And he took them to five straight wins and a Super Bowl and an M- two NC NFC title game. Until would trade him. I mean, heck, the GOAT Bill Belichick wants to this replace is, Brady with him. So or him, this him, is so him just replace just Brady. When we're wrong, wrong, we need to be able to admit I we're wrong. I stand no, I'm not down. When Jimmy G has been Daniel Jones, I was all in. I had to admit right here. That's your fault for going with Daniel Jones. I brought facts. Also hurt. Take this L. for the record. Take this L, Greg. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.